All right, let's get ready for the word this morning. Let's get ready for the word this morning. If you're ready for the word, say word. Let me share this real quick in your spirit so we can get back to our worship. God hears you. God hears you. And our scripture reference this morning is from John 11 and verse 41. And John 11 and verse 41 says this, Father, I thank you that you heard me. I thank you that you heard me. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Is what the word of God says this morning. And so that's what we're going to talk about a little bit on. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Now listen, you, you're thanking the Lord that he heard you. Yeah. Just, 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 just pause for a moment and think about that. The writer is thanking the Lord. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Before raising Lazarus from the dead, Jesus prayed, Father, I thank you. Jesus did that. Jesus said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. That's before he, he, he um, rose Lazarus from the dead. What's interesting about this prayer is that Jesus said it before Lazarus came back to life. He said it before Lazarus came back to life. It's a powerful, powerful demonstration to us of the faith and the trust we should have in God. Are you with me this morning? Jesus knew God would answer his prayer before he witnessed the result. How often, how often do we need to see the answer to our prayers before we will believe that God listened to us and thank him for responding? After we've prayed, brothers and sisters, the devil wants us to wonder whether or not God actually heard. Do you know that? After you and I prayed, the devil would want us to wonder whether or not God actually heard our prayers. He wants us to feel that doubt. But when we know God has heard our prayers, we have confidence. We have confidence. Worry and doubt is replaced with peace. Worry and doubt is replaced with peace. Here are a few scriptures to think about this morning. Here are uh, just a few scriptures I want you to think about this morning. Hmm. My God. When you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea. Blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from God. That's what James 1, 6 and 7 says. Let me read it again for you. When you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of sea, blown, tossed and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Wow. Here's another one. This is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he, he, he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. That's 1 John 5, 14 and 15. Are you with me this morning? Here's another. If anyone says to the mountain... Go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. That's what Mark 11, 23 and 24 says. So today, my brothers and sisters, this very first Monday in our new year, 
the calendar year of 2021. Today, let us begin to thank God for hearing our prayers. Let's begin with that. Let's begin to thank God for hearing our prayers and trust that he will answer every single one of them in the way that's best for all of us. In the way that is best for us. Let's start this new year and begin to thank God for hearing our prayers. Like the writer says, like Jesus said to, to the Father. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Father, I thank you that you heard me. So after your prayer time today, after your prayer time today, just repeat Jesus' words. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Father, I thank you that you heard me. Father God, I thank you that you heard me. Try and develop the habit of saying these words every time you pray. Father, I thank you for hearing me. Father, I thank you for hearing us. And I want the prayer team to, to exercise that. Father, I thank you for hearing me. Let that be a part of our prayer. Father God, I thank you. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing me. And Lord, as you listen to us this morning in worship, as you listen to our cries, as you listen to the joy that we find in worshiping you, Lord, we just thank you for hearing us. We thank you, God, for hearing our pleas. We thank you, God, for hearing our problems. Thank you, God, for hearing our stress. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our cry. We ask you now, Lord, to answer our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.